Hello everyone and welcome back to Polynerdic Playtest. Taking a look at Yakuza Kawame 2. Kiryu's back. This is a remake of the second Yakuza game, obviously Yakuza 2. Uh, this has just been the year of Yakuza for me. I I've played through Zero and Kawame 1 and, and uh, Yakuza 6 and now I'm on Yakuza 2. This game is fucking amazing, just like they all are. Uh, a lot of people are saying that Yakuza 2 is the best in the franchise. Uh, as you can see, real quick before I get rolling further, uh, Kiryu is in Sotenbury, where we last spent a lot of time as Majima. Uh, he's here to fight some thugs, apparently. Let's fight these assholes. I'm still very early in the game. This is Chapter 4, so I haven't unlocked a lot of the good stuff. As far as combat actions. Oh, no, you don't get to stab me in the back. Do not have most of the good combat actions. They did add a new thing here that's nice where I could pick up this knife. In theory. I got it. Oh, I had it. There we go. And then if I don't have a full inventory, I can save that for later, but my inventory is full, so I don't get to show you that. There we go. As I said, I don't have the most exciting combat options. Uh, but we're here in Sotenbury. Uh, we came here to forge an alliance between the Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan, which is Kiryu's clan. Uh, Lots of intrigue going on. Um, I don't want to spoil any of the plot details, but you're here to forge that alliance, and everything seems to be going against you. Uh, right now, I'm here to find some bandages to save the nice police detective lady that took me into protective custody, because they are aware if I die on this mission, uh, it'll be war between the Omi and the Tojo. And there's there's this, uh, a sect... Or a, or a family, if you will, in the Omi Alliance that's staging a coup right now. Um, so I need bandages. And while we're at it... Ooh, there we go. A bunch of those things. Okay, there we go. Gonna spend about half my money on healing items, but... Now we have some. We'll make more money. Now that I have the bandages, I have to take them back. Uh, this is just like uh, Yakuza Kwame and Yakuza Zero in that it's not all voice acted. There's a lot of text on the screen. I do want to see if we have this give us a chance to, to do the uh, an allied attack here, hopefully. I didn't have enough for it. I skimmed right through it. Go right past it. So right now, my, my only real gripe with the game, other than, like, as I was starting to say, there's it's not all voice active like 6 was, so it is kind of rough to come back to. Biking me. That guy hit me with a bike. My my gripe right now is is that the combat isn't the greatest because it's just not dishing out the XP fast enough to, to have the cool moves. So the, the combat is, has been pretty repetitive. All the same heat actions. And then I missed that big kick. That's nice. Got that time. But the story so far has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, this this whole intrigue between the members of the, the two families has made for some good storytelling. All right, nothing back here, so this alleyway is useless. Uh, 
Uh, all right, guys, let's fight. Come on. Just three of you, huh? Oh, shit, didn't expect to throw him over the edge. If we were on the other bridge, I could show you one of my favorites. But we're on the wrong bridge for that. He fell in the river. The other guy must have landed down there on the boardwalk. Okay, so... In fact, let's go over to that bridge and see if we can get a fight over there. Because I want to show you my favorite heat action in the entire game so far. Sexy pub prison. This game makes me want to visit Japan so much. Not for the... Not for the constant fights and stuff, but for the, uh... Let's get out here in the middle of the bridge. That's where the good stuff is. Everybody clear out, yeah. Here we are. This is my favorite one. So damn dumb. Late to the fight, buddy. Come on. Come on, big guy. Gotta throw him over too. Oh, we just threw him. We didn't get the boat with that guy. Alright, so As I was saying The whole story here Deals with Kiryu trying to broker an alliance Between the Tojo clan And the Omi clan Omi alliance And there is a coup going on in the Omi alliance uh, Led by the, the Patriarch's Son um, Big old motherfucker they're 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 trying to take on or take down the Tojo clan. They they want them dead. They wanna they wanna be the big guys. There's you know very early in the game, so there's a lot of plot details that haven't been revealed. This is a lot of the gameplay if you've never played or seen an accuser game before. I get my ass kicked. You too. Oh, I threw him into the front of the store. I won't be welcome there for a while. Yeah, won't be welcome in Smile Burger for a little bit. As I said, I don't have the best combat stuff unlocked just yet. Working on it. Uh, you saw the series of numbers up there on the screen, up on the upper right-hand corner. That's how you improve all this stuff. Unlock some skills. Let's Boost my health as much as I can. Boost my defense. The sub story finder is great. I love it because it uh on the map it'll actually show you 
where sub stories are, even ones that you haven't started yet. It's a fantastic thing. It uh, really helps you not miss out on things. Now I'm gonna walk in over here, and they're not—they're gonna tell me to leave. I bet. <sighs> yeah. See, can't eat here for a while. It'll be a while before I can eat here because I broke their window. Where's the next bit place to eat? Down the street. All right, we're heading that way anyway, so let's just go do it. What's that about the octopus? Oh, this guy's wanting octopus from this place. Ah, it's one of my favorite places. We're going here. We helped this guy out. Gave him a knife. Early on. That's good. Save a little money. Let's go. But if you've never seen a Yakuza game before, uh, they are open world-ish. You know, you get a small open world here with lots of activities. Like, here's where my mission is. Here's a sub story that we're about to go activate. You know, there's all these games and activities to do: gambling, karaoke, which we will do karaoke to round out this this particular episode of playtest. This guy here wants to fight me, and uh, or he wants me to challenge him in Virtual Fighter 2.1. Uh, there's other games there in the arcade as well. And see, this is just one district. There's also Kamurocho, which is the... this game's version of Tokyo. Or, you know, it's a area in Tokyo. So let's go see. Is this the... some story? Here we go. Hmm? It's a little, uh... What a creep! Well, at least he appears to be a creep. This game likes to do bait and switch. Oh, uh, nope, it's not bait and switch. I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Okay, backstory, the bald guy in the blue jacket, we stopped him from killing himself, he was on the bridge contemplating suicide. Prior to that, this old man and the dude in glasses, we helped them, uh, they are getting conned by a guy who claimed that they, you know, he wanted money for a supposed broken rib. Uh, we helped him, this guy ends up being the guy who's written like the, the top selling self-help book in the, uh, in Japan, and Kiryu has no need for it, he, he thought it was, you know, he, what he say there's not an original thought in it um but the book helped mr blue coat here who had lost his job lost his wife i'm gonna guess this woman right here is probably his wife he's now got the confidence he's probably gonna stand up oh. to the guy let's see Yep, called it. Yeah. <sighs> oh, so much for his confidence. See, they don't, they don't even remember Kiryu helping him out.
Let me kick the shit out of that sign for no reason. I just really wish I had... I wish I had the more exciting combat stuff. Like, I don't have any weapons pre-selected. I'm still banned from another place. There we go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's gonna act like it was all part of his plan. Yeah, that was one of the themes of his book, apparently, was how, yeah, success isn't measured in monetary gain, something like that. Always the sentimental music in these games. She didn't even realize who he was standing up to. That's funny. <laughs> Modded model gun. Oh, Jimmy. Alright, so there, there's a nice example of the sub-story. You saw me fuck up two restaurants now that I will not be able to eat at for a while. <sighs> so that's fun. Fun times. Um, let's go ahead and move the story forward so you see a little bit of what's going on with the story. This is chapter four of the game. Um, and that's really... As far as I've gotten the story is what I've told you already is, is there's a coup going on. Kiryu was there to forge this alliance. The coup kicked off. There's been a big explosion back in Kamarocho at the Millennium Tower uh, for the second time in a year, I guess. Because this, this takes place a year after Yakuza 1 or Kuame, depending on which version you played. And you're here to, to broker that peace agreement. And in the aftermath of your showdown with the, the, the fellow leading the, the coup, you are arrested by this police lady, uh, this police detective who's, like, just appears to be a badass character. I really, really like what I've seen of her so far. And, um... She arrests you under the pretense of, uh... protection. Because if you die here in Sotenbury, the... the, the two families will kick off a violent war and nobody wants that to happen so 
now we're gonna deliver the bandages here and see where the story goes. Because when you got back to Sotenbury, she got shot. That's the other piece of plot information you're missing. Someone took a shot at Kiryu and her, and she got clipped in the arm. So Kiryu brought her here for medical treatment. What the hell? System data from the accused. Jesus, here. Haruka's marble. That's it. Okay. Boy. I love that in the Yakuza series, all the, like the, when people go to ground or need medical treatment, it's almost always in a bar. Yeah, there she is. She's a badass. I like that lady a lot. ビオイニータのか手慣れたもんだったな。かなり昔のことや。やっぱりか。さやまとはかなり親しいようだな。親しい本当に前や。うちはこの子の親や。あ、いや。まあ、血は繋がってへんけどな。あ、オッケー。一
わかったちょっと待って一言言っておくけどあなたは父兄の監視下にあるのよ逃げるような真似しないでね、so、well, わかったわねああ、like、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、The information dealers all the way over here. Hey, we were just over there. That's literally where we just had that fight, wasn't it? Right there. So we're gonna get into a fight here. No matter which way we go, there's probably gonna be a fight. That's how this game works. Trouble just has a, find a,、uh, has a way of finding Kiryu. Oh, they turned around with the other way. The city is、uh, very beautifully designed. This game is in the Dragon Engine, the same engine that Yakuza 6 was in. You can walk around first person, taking the sights. I wish I understood Japanese, I could read what all these places say. And as you saw at the beginning, there is a photo mode. You know, you start out like this, or you can do selfie stuff.、Uh, that's all from Yakuza 6. Those guys look like trouble right there. What's this guy? Gods of Mahjong. I don't know the first thing about playing Mahjong, so that, those, I stay completely away from those game modes. This guy. I know he's not the guy I'm looking for, but let's talk to him.、Mm. Oh. Okay, so that probably does、uh, affect me. Ah? <laughs> Is it gonna make me play Mahjong? Please don't make me play Mahjong. Don't make me play much on. Hey, they replaced the glass. Can I eat here now? Nope. Wonder how long it'll be before I can eat there again. That's my preferred way of healing is to stop and get food. Run to Sega, or Club Sega. I、oh, yeah, have to fight first. Hi, guys. Look at those thugs always coming out of the golf course. Golf center. I'll do it. I really love the combat in this game. As I said, though, repeatedly, I just wish I had better, better skills at this point. So the guy I'm looking for is going to hang out in here. That's 
to be him. I bet. Boy. This is the second quest that's had me play the UF catcher, UFO catcher, which is actually harder than it used to be. Like lining it up is much more difficult. Case in point, see I managed to knock down two of them. This is the second quest I've been on that's required. A UFO, UFO catcher to be done. I want one of them there, kitty cats. I don't think I got it. Nope. Shit. I don't know if I can get them once they're laid out like this. If I can just scoot it forward, it'd be great. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything here. Past two Cruiser games, the, the claw machines were easier. She went too far back. Shit. When am I gonna spin here? Oh shit. So now I gotta go. I'm glad it didn't make me. Doesn't see that old man there in the corner. He's the one that wants to play Virtual Fighter with me. Um, I'm glad it didn't make me actually get that damn red cat. Although I wish I had known I didn't have to spend the extra 500 yen. No, we're busy. Guys, yeah. <laughs> but this game is not all action. Uh, if you've never played these games, there, there's plenty of just absurd comedy as well. Uh, when, when I, right before I started this. Uh, Play test. I played a bit where I got talked into posing for a photographer, and it was one of the sillier sequences I've seen in the game. 
even one of these games. Red clothes has her. Down by the river. So. Across the way. Over here. Very tempted to do karaoke real quick. But we'll, we'll run ahead and deal with this. One guy. Got a little umbrella. Red clothes. Yep. Why? Okay. All right, I'll take this cat back to him. There's also some Majima stuff in this game that I have not got to yet. I guess it's prequel stuff. But you get to play as Majima again, which is something that you didn't get to do in Yakuza Kwame or Yakuza 6. So I'm glad they brought Majima back. You fought Majima a fuck ton in uh, Yakuza uh, Kwame. With that Majima everywhere stuff they put in. Oh. Okay. So let's go. I don't want to finish the story just yet. So we're going to go. Well, we're going to fight these guys. And then we're going to end this playtest with some karaoke. Because that's a thing Yakuza is known for. And I haven't done it yet in this game. Okay. Oh, full silver plates, huh? Damn, that sucks. I'm out of inventory space. I can't. It's like when, I, as soon as I do the karaoke, I'm gonna have to uh, sign off and then run over to a pawn store and sell some of my shit. Can't leave money on the ground like that. Oh, well, we're gonna fight these guys now. I just want to go sing, guys. I want to take a break from being a badass Yakuza. Drop something too. 
Tema Torosevat. I like the way he's. Hold on, I gotta. Got to remember that one. Let's go sing. We'll wrap this up with a little bit of karaoke. Let's try past where we're going. Hopefully, we won't get any more fights on the way there. Cause I, I just want to go do the singing bit and wrap this up. Oh no, nope, we're gonna get a fight again. Got a fair bit of money back there. That guy's all happy for the fight. Alright, so karaoke's over here somewhere. I've never been here, so I'm not sure where it is. Is this it? It's like a bar. This appears to be where karaoke is. Let's sing some karaoke, wrap this up. This will be the end of the playtest. Talk to her, now we get to go sing. Alright. Yep. Very much a rhythm game thing. Okay, so some of the songs you sing, some of the songs you are back up on. All right, here we go. I've never done this song before, so. I'm not going to talk much while I do this. Focusing. Oh, fucking this up. It's been real good for a while there until it got complicated. That's stuff from Kiwami back there. All right, I fucked up a little bit in the middle, but overall, I didn't think that was too bad. What was my score? 
Not great. Not great at all. Whew. I guess those fuck-ups in the middle really screwed me up. Let's do one more. Because I like the little video montages and shit that go with it. We'll do tonight, because that's a, a more traditional Yakuza song. I think this is the one about his buddy Nishke. Some great moments in Yakuza's era they're showing back there. Alright, I didn't fuck that one up at all. Yakuza Zero was a really, really, really good freaking game. I'm glad it was my introduction to the series. Much better on that one. Still didn't break into the top three though. I think that's gonna do it for me though. I gotta uh, shut this down, turn the air conditioner back on, cool off, because it's getting hot in here. Uh, normally, I live stream the entirety of the Yakuza games. This one I decided to do on my own. Um, just too much going on to regularly live stream. And then, of course, Spider Man comes out at the end of the week, and that's. I'm probably gonna find myself wrapped up in it before I get back to finishing Yakuza. So, I don't wanna do this as a, as a series and, and leave it. But this has been the Polynarch playtest of it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.